Who gets to say it's too soon to be falling for you? Cause I've heard of things like this before. One of the most important things in life is, to ha- is for you to fall in so- love with someone. And another great, wonderful thing is for someone to fall in love with you. But the greatest is when those two come together and that is what's happened with Michael and Sophie. They've fallen in love and have come to make a public commitment of their love and loyalty to one another. So what if we only just met? True love, don't wait for any man. When they got together, it was in high school. She was a junior and he was a senior. And they realized quickly that they wanted a future together. The way that they bonded, they worked well with each other and had similar goals. And it was like, okay, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Let's get out of this town and start a life somewhere else. Find a place where Like ourselves. True love is not something that you feel, it is something that you do. A song is no song until you sing it. A bell is no bell until you ring it. Love is not love until you give it away. It's not made to be in your heart to stay. No one tells us what we can or can't. I remember the first time she pointed him out to me. We were in church, she nudged me, and she said, that's him over there in the China Spring shirt. And my first thought was, oh, wearing a t-shirt in church, that's casual. (laughs) And from then on, Sophie and Michael were inseparable. No one tells us what we can or can't do, darling, I They have already shown great resilience and love for each other throughout their engagement. They have taken many obstacles in stride while allowing God to take control and help calm the stressors of starting a new life together. Be the easiest thing if Since the beginning of time, love has brought young men and young women together in marriage. And it's this kind of love that Michael and Sophie feel for one another. They and their parents are glad that you've come and they want to thank you for expressing yourself by giving your time this evening. But I know a love like this doesn't come around every day And I just can't bring myself to give up right now Not this way Cause I love you and I want to hold you when we're old and gray Oh, a love like this don't come around Do you take Michael to be your lawfully wedded husband? And do you promise before God and these witnesses to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all of it, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. So I put my hesitations on the show. Cause this is what I choose. 
Do you, Michael, take Sophie to be your lawfully wedded wife? And do you promise before God and these witnesses to love her, to comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I do. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side. And that I'll always be a faithful partner to you. With this ring, I be wed. So with this ring, I be wed. by the power vested in me by the great state of Texas and as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, please kiss your sweet wife. Oh. After getting to know Michael these past few years, I have seen him challenge himself, his determination, and most of all, I've seen how much he loves my sister. But I couldn't be more happy that he ended up being the one. Sophie, I just love you so much. I'm so very proud of the beautiful, godly, determined, focused young lady that you are. Michael, thank you for being such a stable force in my life, a, a good friend and an even better brother. Sophie, I think we can all agree that you look absolutely stunning tonight and that Michael won the lottery. Michael and Sophie, tonight we celebrate you. We wish you all a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success, and laughter. May you continue to find humor in the bad and appreciation for the good. May your friendship continue to grow throughout the years to come. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Come along with me, we can kiss the glass, find I Renee and I just couldn't be more thankful for God's blessings and bringing us all together as one family. And so, y'all join me in a toast, another one. God's blessings and health and happiness to Michael and Sophie Barrett.